Hello and welcome. You're about to see a truly integrated Dynamics Nav platform through the use of Smart Connect. Smart Connect, created by E1 Solutions, is a tool that makes integrating, migrating, and generating new data easy. It gives the functional consultant a platform that has less moving parts, it's less technical, but still powerful and easy to manage. In today's example, I will show you how you can leverage integration with Microsoft Dynamics Nav, CRM, and our e-commerce website to bring together a fully integrated customer experience. We're using Dynamics 365 Customer Engagement as our CRM system in this example. To keep things simple, I'll refer to it as our CRM. Also, this is just one specific example of integration between systems. Remember, you can connect to multiple systems with Smart Connect. I'll start by entering data into our e-commerce website. Smart Connect is going to take this data in real time and create a sales order inside of Dynamics Nav. Then we'll also see a real time integration with CRM so our sales team can better manage the customer experience. Let's start in Dynamics Nav and pull up our open sales orders that were generated from the order on our e-commerce site. As you can see, the sales order was created along with the customer. When we look at the new sales order, we can see that there was an order generated for $100. Let's take an even closer look at the customer and update some of their information. When we add in more data, such as an address for this customer, and click OK, this runs a Smart Connect integration in the background, and it will add this address to the customer we created off the website inside a Dynamics CRM. Now, let's move to Dynamics CRM and take a look at the details we added from Dynamics Nav. If you recall, I mentioned when we submitted our order on the e-commerce site, Smart Connect also generated data in our CRM. Let's open our marketing list and take a look at the members. As you can see, Smart Connect has generated a number of contacts and handled a few extra steps that are important for making sure these customer contacts are having a good experience onboarding with us. Adding everyone to a marketing list will make it easier for our team to generate their call campaign, for example, or to add these people to a customer onboarding email campaign. If we drill back on the company name field, we can see the account information was also created and associated with the contact. Let me draw your attention to the lower left-hand side of the screen where you can see the address information we entered in Dynamics Nav was passed into CRM via Smart Connect. In the same way, we can enter data into CRM and have this passed back into our Dynamics Nav contact. Smart Connect is running in the background now and is keeping track of the change I made to the account in CRM and only passing the change through to Dynamics Nav. If we go back into the Nav customer card, because of the two-way integration, we can see there is now the phone number we added into CRM. Now, let's take a look at how we can leverage Excel, every accountant's favorite tool. As you can see, we pulled data from Nav into our spreadsheet. Next, let's update some of this information. We're going to use E1's Excel add-in, which is part of Smart Connect under the E1 Solutions tab. When I click on Run Map, this data will be pushed back into Nav and will update the original invoice we created. The nicest thing about the Excel add-in is it allows us to update more than just master records, giving us the flexibility on what we want to pull out of Nav and push back in. Now, when I open up the sales order in NAV, we'll see the amount of the sales order has been updated from Excel. Let's take a quick tour of Smart Connect itself and see how we created these integrations. 
I'll open up the integration setup we used to create the sales order inside a nav as an example of setting up an integration within Smart Connect. As you can see, our data source type is a bulk data load, meaning we brought in all of the records from the e-commerce website at one time. In this instance, our data is coming from a multi-data source. We've grabbed information from both an e-commerce website and linked it to data found or not found in NAV. Next, we will take a look at our destination. Within the setup window, we have access to any of the published page services from our NAV system. The sales order service has been selected in this case, and now the available objects within the NAV sales order are available to send data to. Now, let's open up the Smart Connect mapping. This is where we will define how our data source matches up to our destination data. On the left-hand side, you can see we have all of our source columns along with any type of data translations we've created. On the right-hand side, you can see we have all of our destination columns. Next, it's a simple drag and drop from the source to the destination to create a mapping. There are several other features within Smart Connect that make it a very flexible tool, such as the ability to easily handle and process errors. Next, we can set up tasks to run before or after the integration or even at the record level. These tasks are often used for data validation, notifications, SQL commands, or custom scripts, for example. And last, with Smart Connect, one of the options you have is to schedule your integrations to run. You can also take this a step further and define what times of the day you'd like those integrations to run. Thanks for watching this high level overview of Smart Connect for Dynamics Nav. I encourage you to watch our other videos that cover more tips and tricks and technical expertise. Thanks again and we look forward to helping you with your integration needs.